Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing a clinical condition called as idiopathic transient osteoporosis of the hip also called as bone marrow edema syndrome, regional migratory osteoporosis or migratory osteolysis. This condition truly poses diagnostic challenges. This presentation is designed to help you with a comprehensive understanding of this disease. Let's dive in. This disease is an idiopathic disease. What do you mean by the word idiopathic? The word idio, same like the word idiot, which means no knowledge and patho means pathogenesis. The word idiopathic means doctors are having no knowledge about the pathogenesis of this disease. But what we are sure about, we are sure that this condition is a self-limiting condition, which means it heals by itself and doesn't require any active intervention or surgery kind of things to help the patient heal. This condition manifests as temporary loss of bone in the hip of the patient, which means the femoral head and neck region. With regards to epidemiology, this disease predominantly affects middle-aged men of age 40 to 55 years. The ratio between the distribution of affected men and women is 3 is to 1, which means men are having three times higher chance to get affected with this disease than women. But particular subset of female population are highly vulnerable for this disease and they are the pregnant women in their third trimester. Remember, this disease is extremely rare in Asian populations. Why in pregnant women? This could be because of the local hyperemia, impaired venous return causing marrow edema and increased intramedullary pressure making the bone prone for osteolysis. So how the patient would present to the clinic? Most of the time, the patient presents to you with a progressive a traumatic pain and tenderness over several weeks on their hip joint. Since it's a unilateral hip condition, we should be thinking of several other differential diagnoses as well, which we will discuss at the end of this presentation. The patient can also present to you with a difficulty in weight bearing. But when you assess the hip range of motion, most of the time it would be normal. And the blood test may show an elevated erythrocytic sedimentation rate or also called as ESR. So how to diagnose this disease with imaging? X-ray changes are usually delayed compared to the clinical signs. So the better investigation would be MRI. MRI shows marrow edema of the femoral head and neck. If you look into this T1 weighted image, you can notice the decreased signal intensity and loss of fatty marrow in the T1 weighted image. And if you jump into the T2 weighted image, you will see a high signal intensity indicating the marrow edema and also joint effusion. Bone scan can show increased uptake in the femoral head and these changes precedes the X-ray changes. X-ray, if at all useful, it will help us to diagnose the complication of this disease. For example, as in this case, you can see there is a pathological fracture of femoral neck because of the gross osteopenia and osteolysis at the hip region. So how to manage the disease? The first line of treatment is non-operative management, which means simply rest and avoiding weight bearing. So symptomatic relief and avoiding weight bearing can help you avoiding complications. Once the pain has reduced, we can then start with a protected weight bearing within the limits of pain in order to prevent the stress fracture. We would expect a spontaneous resolution within six to eight months. Before diagnose this condition, you should be aware of its differentials, especially femoral neck stress fracture, infection, malignancy, and avascular necrosis. Thank you for all your attention. Idiopathic transient osteoporosis of hip can be a challenging condition to diagnose, but with thorough understanding, you can help your patient well. Please tell us what you think about this video. We really respect your feedback. Thank you.